So recently I created a tutorial on the split screen effect inside of After Effects, but in this one I want to talk about creating the split screen effect inside of Premiere Pro, which if you enjoy editing in Premiere Pro like I do, it'll save you a lot of time rather than having to go to After Effects and do this because you can create some really cool split screens right here in Premiere. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope you're doing excellent today. So this tutorial is going to be fast, easy. You're going to be able to create any split screen style that you want. So be thinking about those type of styles when you're you know, watching this tutorial. But finally, let's jump into our Premiere tutorial. Let's get started. All right, so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro, and I'm gonna show you how to do this awesome split screen effect. There's two techniques to this. First, you have to do the layout, and secondly, you have to animate it. I'm gonna show you both ways to do it, very professional, and it's gonna look awesome. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is bring in some sort of footage. So I'll bring this clip right into our timeline. And what I'll do is make sure our clip selected, come into effects controls, and I'm just gonna say scale this one down, right? And I can use a position control here to bring this down to a corner uh, and then over to the right. And what I'm gonna do is position this to leave a little bit of a black you know, border around our comp. If you want, you can come here to uh, this new layer icon down here, come here to color map, click okay. You can select your color to whatever color you want. We can do white. And what we'll do is we'll bring this color map right underneath our clip, our video footage. And you know we can kind of see a little bit better what we're doing depending on what type of footage you're using. And so we'll continue to build our split screen effect. So we'll come here and bring in another uh, video clip, and we'll come here to effects controls and scale that down as well. And you know maybe we'll just exaggerate it there, move this over, leave a little bit of gap, and we'll just have to find the right scale point for this shot to fit exactly where we want it to be. And what's great about the split screen effect is that you can easily reframe your footage. Um, to fit perfectly. So if you have a bad shot that wasn't framed properly, well guess what? You can do it correctly here. All right, so now we have this little awkward space here and we wanna be able to customize it to fit some just custom, I guess, footage there. So I use custom twice there, but it doesn't matter. So what we'll do is we'll find another shot, we'll bring it in. And before, as before, we'll come here to the scale and bring this clip uh, down and we'll try to position this exactly where we want this to be. <clears throat> so when you think you have your shot in the right spot, what you can do is come here to effects and you're gonna come here and type in crop. And you bring that effect into your uh, effects controls. And we'll, what we'll do is come here and increase the bottom. So we can bring that up by a touch. And we also come here to the top and bring that down. So we have a little bit of a gap there. And we can also apply the crop effect to other footage here. So you can see we don't have that border there. So we can just slightly get the bottom and we can do the top as well there. Perfect. So now we have a good framework here. What we can do to quickly just duplicate the shot so we don't really have to apply that effect again. We'll take that shot right here. We'll hold down Alt on our keyboard, click and drag this up and that will allow us to create a duplicate. You can grab that you know, duplicated shot and you can go to the position and bring it down into to place. We might need to make some adjustments to fit this perfectly. So maybe we'll do like a 20% crop on the top and on the bottom. And I go adjust that on the previous shot. And when you're happy with what you have, what you can do is go to the project, find your next shot that you want to use, and you make sure it's selected. And what you do is you take your duplicated shot, you right click it, you go to replace with clip, and you select from bin right here. And that will replace the shot completely. You might have to reframe or you know, touch with the position and crop settings to frame that shot perfectly. So that's how you can quickly lay out your split screen. Now I do want to talk about animating your split screen effect and make it look smooth and very professional. All right, so let's talk about animating. So we want to create very smooth animation. We got to make it look great. So we'll select one of the video clips here. I'll start with this one on the left and we'll come here to be in the timeline. And what we'll do is come here to the effects window and we'll type in transform. And we'll bring this effect into our panel here. And what we'll do is we'll add a keyframe for position and we can move that keyframe forward in time just by, you know, maybe a half a second. We we'll can have this like slide into our comp. Now you're probably saying, hey, why are we using the transform effect when we can just animate position? The reason why is because we can uncheck this uh, use comp shutter angle and we can set our sh shutter angle to 180 degrees and what that's gonna uh, create is motion blur. So that makes it look very you know, professional. Now, I'm gonna select both these keyframes, right click them, go to temporal interpolation. <laughs> I said that wrong, but say it really fast, go ahead. And you know that'll just create a very smooth animation. Now we can take the same method here and we can apply this to another shot. And we'll come here, we'll add a keyframe for position, move that forward, and we can move this over to the right here to go off frame. And that will slide right in there. And of course, make sure to select these and put them to the easy in and set the shutter angles 180 degrees. So, but now you can use these techniques uh, to finish out the other shots in your composition. So as another quick technique, you can be very creative of how you reveal your clips here. So for example, we have this shot right here. 
uh, that can be revealed underneath this clip here. All you have to do is find that shot and you can offset it in your timeline. And so right when that bottom clip comes in, we can have that one reveal up just like that. And if you are animating your shots, you should offset your layers in the timeline here so they come in at different times and it just makes it, you know, look a lot more, I don't know, professional, looks nice. And to close out this video, I want to give a huge shout out to our brand new pack called the Motion Graphics Advanced Pack, which has over 750 templates in it for Premiere Pro and After Effects. So this is our brand new 750 Motion Graphic Advanced Pack extension right here. So you get this extension window right here in Premiere Pro, which allows you to preview any template before you apply it. And we have a handful of different categories in here, a lot of titles. We also have some very cool transitions to work with, infographics for your videos, shape elements and social media icons, really cool animated backgrounds, and 200 animated icons. So how does this all come together? Let's say we're putting together a cool full screen title sequence. We can come here, preview a template that we want and just double click it and automatically apply this animation into your pack. Now you come here and click on customizer and you can easily change colors. We come here to edit text and we can easily change out the text and it'll automatically change the title right here in Premiere Pro, which then you'll be able to insert into your video. You can also come here to the graphics tab and use the essential graphics window here if you prefer to use that instead. And you have all the properties necessary to help you edit your template right here in Premiere Pro. So if you want to check out any of the packs we have off our website for After Effects and Premiere Pro, I will link them below in the description. If you do pick up anything off our website, you will be supporting our channel, so thank you very much. So there is a rare Premiere Pro tutorial for you. I definitely want to be doing more Premiere stuff as well because you know I've done so much After Effects content. So let me know down in the comments below if you want some more Premiere tutorials from me. Uh, but overall, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to our YouTube channel, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. If you want more tutorials, be sure to follow me on my Instagram. I will link that below. We're posting one-minute tutorials on there you know, three times a week. And always, be creative.